Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, the topic we discuss is how to get the same messages to show up on both your iPhone and your Mac computer. So let's get started with it right now. First, let's take a look at the SMS green bubble text messages, which can also show up on your computer. To set it up, grab your iPhone and open the settings app. At the bottom of your settings, there is the apps section. So enter it and then try to find the messages app inside. You can search for it, scroll manually, or use the side litters to jump directly where you need. So when you're inside the messages, you need to look for the text message forwarding menu. Inside, your devices like a Mac or an iPad are gonna be visible. So you need to ensure you have the toggle on next to them. This will automatically forward the messages directly to those devices. It's not like you get the same functionality because replying to them can be done only through the iPhone's SIM card. But as long as you're around, it's still doable and easy to perform. The other method is about ensuring that on your MacBook, you are connected to the same iMessage account as the iPhone. So open up the Messages app, it's pretty simple. Once you have it open, tap on the word Message in the top panel on the left side and click on the settings to get inside there. The settings contain a few pages, so tap on the uh, iMessage to get there. And here you can either be logged into an existing account, so you'll need to make sure you are logged it with the proper one. If not, sign out and switch to another one. Basically, make sure that the iMessage is set up the proper way on your Mac. Besides this, you can also go to the main settings app on your Mac computer and under your name and the iCloud section, you can see the messages synchronization option. This should ideally be turned on as well because it makes sure that you can make the same messages show up on your computer as on the iPhone or iPad. Best way is to make it turn on in every device you use for iMessage. But that's basically all from me in this video. I really hope you have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. If you have any other thoughts, leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.